to my channel. My name is Becca and welcome back to another Fave, Fine, and Fail video with Young Living Essential Oils. Now, if you haven't seen these before, I've done a couple. I think this is my third. Um, but I like to share kind of like my monthly favorites when it comes to Young Living on my essential oil days on this channel. But if I have anything that's kind of in the fine or fail category, I like to do a fade, fine, fail instead and share with you guys the products that I've been loving for the past month, but also the products that honestly, I didn't like. Now, before we start the video, please subscribe to my channel. I post three days a week usually on a variety of different content. I try to keep Mondays to essential oils, but then I also like to do Wednesday and Friday on different things like what I eat in a day with some healthy recipes and stuff or maybe some different beauty videos. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss another video. And let's get into this month's Fave, Fine, and Fail. Now these products are like my fave, find, and fail from December pretty much for the most part. So I'm going to start out with my one fail that I have and then kind of end on a positive note and do the favorites at the end. But I'm really sad about this one. My fail is the Thieves Laundry Soap. Now I could put this into the fine category. It's not like a complete fail, but it really doesn't live up to my expectations. So I'm putting it in the fail category, but I'm gonna keep trying it and try to get some tips and tricks on it and hope that I like it better later. But basically, I've been trying this. It is the fresh, fresh citrus scent. It smells amazing, but whenever I've used it, I use the amount it says to use in like the cap full or whatever, but every time I do my laundry, I feel like my laundry does not smell good, like at all when it's done. So it makes me feel like it's not as clean. And I know that Thieves is cleaning it. Like I know it's clean, but it doesn't smell like it is. So I am going to go into like my oil group and see if anyone has some tips on maybe if I can add lemon oil to it or so what will make it smell better because I know that it's doing its job of cleaning, which is why I feel bad about putting it in a fail. Like I know it's doing its job, but I'm not getting a good smell in my laundry when I use it and that's what I need. So right now it's a fail. I'm going to keep trying it. I'm going to really hope I can find some sort of trick that will make my laundry still smell good when I use it. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really sad about this. It just has not made my laundry smell good. And I hate when my laundry like smells like stale. And I feel like it just does that to it. If any of you out there use Young Living, let me know if you have any tips and tricks with it if you've used it before. Moving on, I do have something in the fine category as well. And for my fines, it's just kind of things that I'm like, okay, like they're all right, but I'm not obsessed with them. And that would be the Einkorn crackers. So I tried both kinds of these. I got, this is the tomato and herb, and I also got the sea salt one, which I guess is kind of like the original. And I will say the sea salt one is better. It's not bad, like they taste perfectly fine. I don't think the tomato and herb ones taste good at all, sadly. I thought I'd really like them because I do like the tomato flavor in things, but they were way too tomato for me. Like it was just too rich of a flavor that I did not want that in a cracker. And then with the sea salt ones, they did taste a lot better. But if I'm being honest, for the price, I just didn't think they were amazing. I'm not obsessed with them. I literally ate one cracker out of this one and never touched it again. And I love crackers. So it just wasn't a thing that I ended up falling in love with from Young Living, sadly. Like, it's all right, like they taste okay, they're not bad, but I just know that I wouldn't repurchase them, so they cannot be in the favorite category if I would not be repurchasing them. Moving on from my favorites, I'm gonna share with you guys my most used oils for the month of December, because those were my favorites last month, essentially. So my first most used oil, I have one, two, three, I have six. So the first one, and all of these I blend together for the record in different ways. So all six of these oils I put together in different combinations basically the entire month. So the first one of that is pine. Pine has quickly become a very favorite treat oil for me. I've loved it through fall, I've loved it through winter, and I think I've mentioned it before in a fade, fine, fail because I use it so much, but this is one of my top oils in December as well. It is just such a beautiful woodsy aroma. I love pine. 
After that is a newer one to me, and that is Blue Cypress. I think I ordered it in November, I want to say. So I think in December it was brand new to me, if I'm thinking correctly. And honestly, I have loved it. Um, I love regular Cypress, but something about this one is just a little bit better to me, a little bit fresher. It's still that nice tree scent, of course, that's nice and woodsy and earthy, but there's something a little more fresh about this one, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. After that, of course, is Christmas Spirit. Everyone uses Christmas Spirit. This is such a love for me. It is a blend of cinnamon, black spruce, and orange. So it's beautiful. It has the cinnamon scent to it, which really shines through, but it also has a tiny bit of citrus, tiny bit of that woodsy tree scent. Beautiful. Seriously, if you try like any oil from Young Living, I would recommend Christmas Spirit because it's only like $10 and it is so beautiful. And I'm probably still gonna use it even though Christmas is over. After that, of course, is Northern Lights Black Spruce. This is always a love for me. I have really loved it since I first tried it. and. As usual, it's still in my Fae Find and Fail. I think it was in my last one that I did, honestly, and I love it. This is better than even Blue Cypress and Pine. As you can tell, I love treat oils, but Northern Lights Black Spruce is just the most beautiful, calming, peaceful, woodsy, earthy scent that, like, I just feel like it's so calming. I know a lot of people use it for, like, more meditative purposes as well. It's beautiful, and I love it at night. After that, we have frankincense. I have not been into my frankincense in a while, which is crazy because I love frankincense. Oh, it's such a beautiful, I don't even know. It's like, it's hard to even explain. It's definitely like an earthy aroma. It's so hard to explain when it comes to it, but frankincense is so amazing. And if you've ever smelled frankincense from like Target or Walmart or something, Try it from Young Living and it smells nothing like the cheap oils out there. This is incredible. Um, frankincense is amazing for your skin, but I've actually just been adding it to my blends in December. I've added it to like my Christmas spirit and a uh, pine blend that I'll put together. And I just feel like it adds a little bit more of that like authentic Christmas spirit into the air and I love it. And my last favorite for uh, last month is peppermint. Peppermint's been incredible for me lately. Now, I've added it to my Christmas blends because I love getting peppermint to like shine through in the Christmas blends because that's literally such a Christmassy scent. But I also have not been feeling my best lately going into 2019, ironically. So, so that being said, peppermint's been amazing for me. When I don't feel great, ugh. I huff this oil. I take it with me everywhere and I just like smell it constantly. And if you have any issues with kind of feeling nauseous or upset stomach or even a headache, this can give you amazing support both topically, but also literally just smelling it right from the bottle does such amazing wonders for me that this is probably my top favorite out of all my favorites this month peppermint. It's done so much for me. <laughs> Alright y'all, so that is it for my fade, find, and fail video for this month. As you can see, I actually had a find and a fail, which is a little bit exciting in a way, because sometimes I fall in love with every single product and I don't have anything I don't like, but I do like to be able to share with you guys when there's things I don't enjoy as well, just because maybe it helps you decide what to buy. Um, let me know down below what your favorite product has been over this past month, or maybe a product that you want to try. Be sure to subscribe. I usually post about three days a week. I'm really trying to get back into that schedule um, on a variety of different stuff. I try to keep essential oils to Mondays on my channel, but I also post on other stuff with beauty and lifestyle and hopefully some vlogging and stuff like that pretty soon. So, so that is it for this video and I will see you guys in my next one.